Hey, so three quick updates about the conflict in Ukraine. While we wait for the long format video that it takes about two weeks to make, so it will be next week. There has been a leak in Germany. The Bild newspaper came in possession of uh, some German uh, armed forces document where uh, the German military actually complains that Ukrainians are not applying NATO tactics as they should be applied. And they're also complaining that some officers have been promoted because of their battlefield experience rather than their training in the NATO doctrine. In the previous video I have explained why any attempt to wage a movement war in Ukraine is very likely going to fail. So go and watch the video if you didn't. And it seems that the NATO militaries are sort of not understanding this. And since the Ukrainians are those who have direct battlefield experience, I sort of think that promoting the people with experience, even though they don't have NATO formal training, is a good thing. It is also good for the morale of the forces. Uh, it is good to retain the, the lessons that have been learned with blood. It's really difficult to understand uh, how they don't understand. That's my opinion. I may be wrong, but that's my opinion. And always talking about movement war, in the last couple of days, the Ukrainians have tried a large-scale assault with about 100 combat vehicles, tanks, and uh, IFVs. And what happened was what was easy to predict. They managed to make a dent in the Russian defenses, and then they had sort of 20 to 30 percent losses and they had to withdraw. I'm really left wondering how much of what they are doing is because they are under pressure from the NATO supporters or because they really think that it is a good idea. And finally, let's speak about something that flies, the Lancet drone. It seems that lately the Russians have larger numbers of lancets that are working in conjunction with reconnaissance drones and they're turning out to be very effective. Some time ago an interesting video covering the factory that was producing the drones has been published and it was very interesting. They were producing really a lot of them and with technologies, with machine, with industrial machines that were very uh, modern looking, it didn't really look different from a Western company. So to tell the truth, the Lancet seems to have a warhead that is a bit light to completely defeat, for example, a Western tank. But otherwise, it turns out to be really, really effective for the kind of defensive battle that, that the Russians are fighting right now. We also have news of an Ukrainian attack that has been repelled just using drones. Without the use of the ubiquitous Russian artillery, you can interpret this as finally a Russian scarcity of artillery. I would rather interpret this as a abundance of lottery munitions like the Lancet. And if you're wondering where I'm taking this news, well, there is an Italian channel that is top-notch. I sort of mentioned it passim in the last video. The name of the channel is Parabellum. I will put the link in the description below. Their videos description boxes are an encyclopedia of the hostilities in Ukraine. Unfortunately, the channel is in Italian, so, well, you need to know the language to understand it. But in terms of quality, since I speak English, French and Italian, there is nothing else that even comes close on YouTube. I don't always agree with the channel's host interpretations, but in terms of the quality and the balance of the information that you can have, it's definitely top notch. So thank you very much for watching this short update and see you soon with another long format video where we will go back speaking about something that flies.